Hey guys, it's Agonzi Dilmar again and welcome back to my channel. So first of all, thank you again for joining the channel. I really appreciate your time. I also wanted to ask you if you could subscribe to the channel by just clicking on the button below and hitting subscribe because that's really gonna help me in bringing you a lot more content. Today, I'm gonna continue the videos in augmented reality. We did a lot of different videos before. We did plane detection. We also placed objects around. We did mappings of a room. We've been doing a lot of different things. And what I wanna do today is I want to use an AR cloud system that is gonna allow us to basically use particles to detect objects around our scene. So let's jump into Unity and start working on it. All right, guys, so let me show you what we're gonna be doing in this lesson. So the first thing that I'm gonna do is I'm gonna have you clone one of the scenes that I already created for you previously. So that one is gonna be the measurement scene. So I'm just gonna clone it. And this one is gonna be for cloud, basically a cloud points that we're gonna be showing. And the reason why I wanted to do this is because I want to detect the couches in my room, the chairs in my room, not only planes, but also other objects. So let's go ahead and call this one cloud point placement. All right, now that we have that created, let's go ahead and double click it. And then I'm gonna get rid of a couple of things in here that we're not gonna need. I'm not gonna need the distance text because that's from the previous measurement scene. And then let's go into the AR session and make sure that I have everything that we need. So we need an AR session component, which we have, so that's great. Also an AR input manager, and that's great. Now in the AR session origin, I'm going to get rid of a couple of things. We're gonna need the AR session origin, that's gonna stay. Also the AR plane manager, because we still need to, we still need to detect the planes in the area. And then the other thing that I'm gonna get rid of is this measurement controller. So let's go ahead and remove that. And then also the line render, because we're not gonna use that. So we're gonna start pretty pretty much pretty vanilla here. And the other component that, that we're gonna need is gonna be the AR point cloud manager. So let's go ahead and add that. So this one is gonna be new, and this is the one that is going to manage the, the cloud points in the augmented reality scene. And then we're gonna need to create an AR point cloud visualizer. So what I'm gonna do for that is I'm gonna go into prefabs and we're gonna create a new component here. So let's go ahead and right click on it. And then we're gonna create an empty. This one we're gonna call the, we can just call it AR cloud, cloud points. And then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna drag and drop that into the prefabs area. There we go. So in order for us to, to render clouds, and it's basically points, and we're gonna be using particles, is by creating particles. So we're gonna need to assign that to this component. So we're gonna add it, and it's gonna be a particle system. There we go. And we're gonna start to see some changes because this is using basically the particle system that Unity, that Unity provides. So we're gonna have to make some changes, some changes to this. So the first thing that I'm gonna need is I want to change the way that these particles are getting rendered. So let me make some changes to here. We're gonna keep this at five. We're also gonna, we're not gonna allow looping because I want the cloud system to, to start that process. Zero on the start delay, five on the start time, and five, so that it's all fine. The size though, it's way too big. So this size is gonna be 0.02. Then we're gonna keep the star rotation at zero. All of these are gonna be the same. Locals are gonna be the same. And the delta time is still gonna be a scale, local. Let's see, on the scaling mode, I'm gonna do hierarchy. Then plano awake, I don't wanna play this on awake, so I'm just gonna remove that. I think these settings are fine, and the random seed is fine. And let's see, so the calling mode, I'm going to say pause and catch up. So I'm gonna change that to the setting. Then the emission, I think everything in here is fine. Now we're going to the emission. Let's go into the emission and 10 on the rate over time is fine and rate over distance is fine. So I think all of these settings are for the most part are great. Now let's go ahead and focus on, let's go ahead and remove this component shape because we're not gonna using, we're, gonna, we're not gonna change the shape that the particles are emitting. We're actually gonna use a texture for that. So I'm going to remove shape. Now we're gonna move into render. So let me go ahead and expand that. And a couple of settings in here that we need to look at. So billboard on the render mode is fine. Normal direction is fine. The material, so before I keep going through some of these components, 
let's go ahead and add a new material. So we're going to have to add a new texture for that. And let's go into textures. And I saved that file under my desktop. So I'm going to drag and drop the feature point. And all this is is basically a plus symbol. So this is going to be the plus symbol that gets rendered with the particles. All right, now that we have that created, let me just make sure that everything in here looks fine. OK, yep, that all looks good. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to create a new material. So let's go into materials. And this one it's going to be, let's go ahead and go into materials here. This is going to be particle. We can just call it cloud particle. And let me make sure that I'm spelling that correctly. There we go. Awesome. And then the material that I'm going to use is going to be one of the legacy materials. So let's go into legacy. And I'm looking for alpha particles, alpha blended. And that's the one that we need. We can either use the mobile or not, or the non-mobile. So I'm going to use the non-mobile. Excellent. And then I'm going to attach the, the new texture that we added, which is going to be this one. And then all the settings in here look fine, except I'm going to make this a little bit wider, white as color white. And then I'm going to go a little lower here. Right about there should work. And everything else looks fine to me. OK, great. I think the material is good to go. Let's go now back to the, the prefab. And I'm going to look at the render settings again. So now on the material of the particle system, we're going to assign that cloud particle. That's great. And then the other things that we need to start looking at is the additional settings. So the trail, we're not going to have a trail. A store more, sorting mode is fine. And then everything in here, it's fine. I don't need to change those. Apply active color space. We're actually going to disable that. And I think everything else looks great. So the reflection, let's see, the reflection pros, we're going to keep it off. And I think everything else everything should be fine and there we go just double checking some of the settings that i that i that i saved previously just to make sure so yep everything everything looks good here I'm just looking at shadows receive shadows and that is fine okay i think this is great what i'm going to do is i'm going to test this system and let's see how that if i hit play yeah there we go i think this looks good all right, so I'm going to call it good. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to make sure that I don't have any changes on the prefab, which I do. And I'm going to hit apply. So now that prefab should be good. And I'm going to set everything to 000, just to make sure that this is a clean. And then my particle system works. Awesome. So now what I'm going to do is let me make sure I don't have any more changes. I'm good to go. And I already saved that as a prefab. So that's great. So I'm just going to remove it from the, from the view. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to go back into my AR session origin. And let me make sure that I have a point cloud prefab assigned. So I'm going to select the one that we just created, which I don't see in this list. Let me see cloud. Nope. For some reason, it doesn't show there. That's fine. We'll go this way. Drag it and drop it. All right. I think all of that looks good. So the last thing that we're going to need is we're going to need a script to place objects. And I already have some because We've been doing multiple videos about plane detection and placement. So I'm just going to look for, let's type in many. So this one is placement with many controller. Let me double click it and make sure that this is going to, this is going to work for us. And yeah, I think this should work for us. We'll just make some, I'm just going to make a, a, basically a duplicate of this because I don't think I need, I don't think I need any of this. Let's see video clips. It's not going to be something that I need random prefab yeah let's go ahead and make a duplicate and i'm going to make it more generic just in case we need it so this one i'm just going to duplicate it and we can just say placement for cloud for point cloud all right and then let me just double click it and then we're just going to change the name placement for point cloud all right, now let's go back into my AR session origin. And I'm going to remove the, I think I already did, but just, nope, I didn't. I'm going to remove this one. And I'm going to add the other one. 
which is going to be this last one. And then we're going to make some changes in here. So I don't need multiple prefabs to be placed. I'm just going to make that one. I do need a welcome. I do like that. And then I don't need max number of TVs. Let's remove that. I don't need to keep track of the instances that we're adding. I don't need a public property. And I don't need video clips. OK. Let me just make these so that it can be basically used for what we need it. So on the update, I'm only going to need, I don't need the face begin. We can just do that on the on the start. So what I'm going to do here is I'm just going to remove this piece. We don't need to move our finger around. There we go. So I'm just going to keep it super simple and then move this variable up. It's going to be private. All right, so I think we're good to go here. Yep, so this is very, very simple. I'm now thinking about making this, making this more generic so that I can use it in other videos. So placement with many objects. I think I had another one, but it was more, which I have to rename. So this one is called placement with many controller. And we can just say, Placement with many objects controller. Yeah, that's fine. We can we can name it that way. I'm gonna rename the other one later. And there we go. So I think we're good to go. Alright, and then I just need to rename the file. So that file is going to be this guy right here. Just rename it. There we go. Alright, so I think this looks this looks good. And I'm gonna close it and reopen it. And that one actually got deleted. And it's still still there. I'm just gonna close out of VS Code. And let me make sure this doesn't complain anymore. Placement with many objects. Okay, it looks like it's clean now. This one, it's still there in the file system. So let me delete that guy. Alright. And we should be clean. Okay. So now it should be clean. So now what I what I want to do is I want to create an instance of the of the prefab. So I'm going to allow I'm going to allow many of them. So I don't need to keep track if they have been set or not. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to say instantiate. Instantiate. We're going to pass in the place prefab. This one should be singular. So let me re rename that. Because it's only going to be just a single prefab. And then we're gonna grab the grab the hip pose, and then position, and then hip pose, the rotation. There we go. And that should give us a new instance of the place prefab. And I think everything else here is fine. Let me just delete those using statements, and let's double check everything. Yep, I think everything there's there looks good. Let's go back into the AR session origin and make sure that we have we have it assigned correctly. So the place prefab, what I'm going to do is I'm going to grab in one of the prefabs that we created previously, which is going to be basically this one right here, which is going to be a sphere. So let's go back to, and then at the place object, which is going to be right on the place prefab component. The welcome screen, it's going to be the panel on the canvas. So that's going to be the, the panel that shows when we first open it up, which is going to be this one. And then we're also going to need a reference to the button. The other thing that I want to do is I want to change, let me look at the instructions. So this is not going to be measuring measuring anything. So I'm going to change some of the instructions. Let's see, to, to place objects in, in AR. Yep. Follow the steps below. I think that's fine. Let's see, move your device around to map the area, select the starting point. And then I think that's all we need. Select the starting point. Yep. All right, so I think I think we're good here in the instructions and we're also good with all the changes that we made. So what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna build it. Let's go into build settings. And I'm gonna remove the, uncheck the hanging TVs and we're gonna add our new scene. Now we're gonna go to build. And let me go ahead and coin it, call it point cloud. And we can just call it either point cloud build. And let's just hit save. And this is going to create a iOS build. And what I'll do is I'll continue on as soon as the build is completed. And then I'll show you how it runs on my device. 
All right, guys. So it just occurred to me that there were a couple of things that I didn't include in the basically in the in the scene, and, and the reason why I'm doing this is because I I didn't it didn't work when I run it on my device. So what I want to show you is a couple of more components that we didn't add to the prefab for AR Cloud Points. So I'm gonna open up that pre prefab, and then we need to add a couple of more components at the very end, and those are the components that are gonna allow to basically render particles in augmented reality. And in that one, it's gonna be this one right here, the AR Point Cloud needs to be added. We also need to add a AR Point Cloud Particle Visualizer, which is going to be this one right here. So these are the two components that we that we miss. And, and what I wanna do now, let me make sure, go back, make sure that this, this one already has it. And what I wanna do now is I want to build the scene and then run it on my device and now show you how it looks. All right, guys, so it looks like it's finished building and I already have it in my phone. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna start the screen recording on my phone and we can see how the clouds look like. All right, so I'm gonna just gonna launch it right here and show you how it looks. So we still get our diagram or little dialogue on the, as soon as it opens up, I'm gonna hit this means. And you can kind of see that we're now getting particles. They're, they're rendering with the plane detection system. If I go around, you can kind of see how that works. I can place objects. I can place objects on the wall as well. We can see how my green screen, we're getting some points on the green screen. And I can go, there we go. Let me go to my other wall. And we're getting, there we go. So I can place objects on the walls. So I can play objects on the, on the, on the floor. I think everything, everything is working just fine. All right guys, thank you very much for watching this video. I really appreciate your time. And if you have any questions, please let me know. Also be sure to check out gamedate.net because they have amazing resources for game developers. And also find me on patreon.com where I'm basically posting information about what I'm doing behind the scenes and I'm also posting early access to source code. Thank you very much guys.